One of the things people talk to me about more and more at the moment is this um, waking up in the middle of the night and having a massive worry. So maybe 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. But they'll wake up and they'll just be gripped by like massive panics about what will happen about this or what will happen about that or what if we can't do this or what happens if this doesn't work out or how are we going to cope with paying this or how can I afford that or another one that's a really great one that I think we do to ourselves because of articles about it relentlessly which is which cancer have I got <laughs> where you have some kind of pain and you decide that's it you're definitely dying of bowel cancer at two in the morning so I just wanted to say the things you should do what I do when that happens. I think everybody has these kind of worries. It's just that people don't talk about them because it makes them sound weird. So I guess the point is you're not weird. Or if you are, you're as weird as me and all the best people are weird. Something I tell my daughters all the time. So the first thing, and you have to be military with self-discipline on this, is as soon as you start that whole worrying thing and you suddenly realize it, like, oh, here I go, I'm gonna have a massive worry so I can't get to sleep. And then I'll start worrying about the fact that I'm not sleeping and I need to be up in the morning. Is you have to agree to stop. So like you see a stop sign or you imagine putting the brakes on a car, whatever is stop to you, you have to say to yourself, bloody well stop. And the immediate thing you have to do is breathing, right? So you have to have this weird discipline where you say, I'm gonna do five breaths all the way in for 10 and all the way out for 10. And if you're someone like me, that's really hard to do because you'll do one and you'll be like, right, I'm bored of that, now what? But you have to make yourself do five and you can think all you want, oh, that's just airy, fairy, claptrap, shite. But try and do five or however many you decide and do them really, 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 really slow. Like as slow as you can possibly breathe without dying, also don't die. Immediately after that, make a deal with yourself. So you've done stop, you're doing breathing, now you're gonna make the deal. And the deal is that you can worry about all this, right? You can definitely be dying of bowel cancer, right? In the morning, when you wake up and you've had a shower and you've had a coffee, no thoughts before coffee, another rule of my life. So you can make a deal with yourself at 2 a.m. Okay, I'm gonna pick all this up, all these worries. Okay, maybe they're real. I'm gonna agree to do them after I've had a coffee tomorrow morning and make that deal with yourself. So you're not agreeing not to do it. You're just agreeing a good time when you will do the worrying. And then the third thing that I think is really important is to have then another thought. So you've done the stop, you've agreed when you're gonna go back to this worry, but you're gonna have a different thought. And so for me, that's about a time when I have slept or I like sleeping or my favorite thing, which is sleeping in a tent in the rain. Don't even know why. Hardship gets me. I know, weird, like I said. So whatever your other thought is, maybe it was a holiday you had, or maybe you're lying on a sun lounger, or if you're a cold person, I don't even know how cold people think, but, oh, I live in the UK and it's pissing down. Oh, that's nice. Whatever your good place is, imagine yourself there. And if none of that works, start again. I reckon go back to the top, it works for me every time, but go back to the top and start again and repeat those three stages. So stop and breathe agree with yourself, deal with yourself, you're going to do this again tomorrow when, when you're ready, and then think of something else. So those are, that's how I stop my 2am, oh my god, I'm going to die of brain cancer worries. And um, somehow, so far, that's what's got me through. <laughs>